Teachers are busy getting their classrooms ready before classes start next week. WDRB education reporter Kevin Wheatley and photojournalist Tom Brown take us inside one school fighting the trend of understaffed classrooms. Excitement is in the air at Fern Creek Elementary. My favorite part is getting to see them and especially the little kindergartners that have never been in school before. As JCPS prepares to start the 2022 school year next week. I hope everybody's as excited as me. <laughs> and teachers throughout the district are getting their classrooms ready. It's kind of just my idea of what will work. And then once the kids get in here, they kind of sometimes have a different idea of what will work. And so I just have to adjust based on what they need. As the beginning of classes nears, Fern Creek Elementary is an outlier at JCPS. Every teaching position is filled and only a few support staff vacancies remain. Right now we have three openings out there and I actually am setting up hiring this week. So my hope is they will be filled before school starts. Not every JCPS school is as fortunate. The Jefferson County Board of Education is scheduled to hear a report Tuesday on the unprecedented number of certified teaching vacancies in JCPS schools. Hundreds of teachers retiring or resigning before the start of the school year. Amy Green Webb, the district's head of human resources, was unavailable for an interview on the issue Monday. We are just a reflection of what's going on um, nationwide with um, a lot of people retiring. I know a lot of people that went in the same time I did are now retiring. They were like, you'll be the one doing cartwheels. I said, well, not yet. While so a recent back surgery next. may prevent Johanna Thomas from doing cartwheels on the first day of classes, August 10th, she's eager to welcome her latest class of first graders back to school and reconnect with former students as they continue their journeys through Fern Creek Elementary. I'm like starting to think about my kids from last year and like I like start to get a little teary eyed and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I can't wait to see them. Kevin Wheatley, WDRB News.